about 80,000 have come to the capital of Wisconsin to watch what should be a very entertaining battle here at Camp Randall Stadium. And now we bring you the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. him hard at the 23-yard line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. So it's second and 12. Ball in the 23. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. from that defensive stand carries over to their offense. Tackle at the 40-yard line. So the Badgers and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. I'm sure we're going to see it again today. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. Here's the give. Tackle made at the 45. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll bring up third and six. From the 42-yard line, third down. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down at about the 17-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Here's the halfback. And he carries the ball for a nice game. From the 11-yard line, second down. Looking for the corner. Touchdown, Wisconsin! He makes the PAT. So that's an eight-play, 59-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown.
Wisconsin lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Wisconsin's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 35. That'll make it second and inches. And a quick throw, and he's taken down at the 40. Slings it. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 48-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Tackled after a decent pickup. Call it a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle around the 32-yard line. Call it a gain of 13 yards. First down. Scrambling around. And they make the stop at the 19. That's a gain of 13. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 19. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled around the four-yard line. Not a real fancy play here. Just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. And down he goes, right around the eight-yard line. That brings him second and goal. From the eight-yard line, second down. outside for a nice game. Four yards there on the old quarterback keeper. Yeah, we got an injured player on the field. So it's third down, but the offense is only four yards away from evening this game up. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Fires quick. Tipped. That's a phenomenal job to read the route and get a good break on the ball. Smart defense. That brings us to the goal. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Maryland, ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Wisconsin is up four. Setting up blockers. The running backs got it on the screen. Second, second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 20. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike. Let's go. Brought down at the 18. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. Third down. 
The Terrapins quarterback went down with that injury earlier. He's still in the locker room, and the word we're getting, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to play anymore today. There's a strike complete. A decent pickup on the pass play. And I'll tell you what, the defense did everything they could here. Give credit to the quarterback for putting this ball where it had to be for his receiver to catch it. Great job. From their own 40-yard line. First down. He's at midfield. He gets to about the 41-yard line. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. Wisconsin leads 7-3. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 43. Wisconsin holds a four-point lead. They'll give it off here. And he's tackled after positive yardage. scrambling quarterback's gonna run it and he's got room to work slides down to the ground five maybe six yards there on the scramble so it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field runs it right and can't get away nice tackle now they decided to go for it but the defense slammed the door on him that's the definition of coming through when it matters most With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Down. Blue Knight. Quick pass. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings us second and nine. Gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Fires it out. He's at the 40. He's pushed out of bounds around the 37-yard line. First down. made right around the 32 yard line that brings him second and five get to that quickly he's hit and taken down that's a game 15 that makes it first and 10. the middle for a nice game. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. it left for a decent game. Makes the tackle. That's a game of five on the play. That makes it first and goal. Tries to get around the corner. Touchdown, Terrapins!
Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. An eight-play, 67-yard drive. And the result, seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and receiver. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. So the penalty will make it first and 15. seven-yard line. From their own 37-yard line. First down. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. That'll make it second and inches. Three down, three down. Hey, check flight 47. Check flight 47. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Missed tackle. Makes it out to about the 40. the 40-yard line. It's first down. Quick throw. He goes out of bounds at about the 31. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Slings it out there. Tight end's got another one, and he's tackled at the 21-yard line. From the 21 yard line. First down. Wisconsin's going to take their first time out of the half. The misdirection play gets them four yards. run to the left there. They're really putting a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out in practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Throws out and through his hands. Third and goal for the lead. That makes it third and goal. Let's go, let's go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And they push him out at the 10 yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. That brings up fourth and goal. Wisconsin is looking to tie things up. Kicks away, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. 
He gets out to about the 25-yard line. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games, and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And a pickup of about seven. Good decision here. Nice dump off. It's only seven yards, but the offense will take that play every time. Fires out to his receiver. The Terrapins are going to call their second timeout. From their own 41-yard line. First down. Tosses left. Intercepted. I just don't think he saw the defender. And he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. He scrambled. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. Now he's scrambling. And they get the sack. Hey, kill, kill, kill! He's going to try and scramble. The ball pops free. Picks up the loose ball. Once the ball hits the ground, it's a matter of luck and will. And on that play, it was the defensive end who crowded for his side. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. Giving the ball away can rattle your confidence, but he just needs to relax and not try to force it. He's starting off in great field position now. Going long. Rose to the receiver. Got it for the touchdown. This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. And he adds the extra point. We played a half of football. The Terrapins in front, 17-10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a soccer player, please. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. Number three, He'll return it from the one. Gets out to about the 21.
this deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. On play action, he'll scramble. One, maybe two yards on the quarterback scramble. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. Second and eight coming up here. Ball in the 23. He's got it out to his tight end. He gets hit out of bounds at the 42. Backfield for a loss. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. Scrambling around. Slides down. And he got about six on that little scramble. his way to the 43-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 43. Nice run up the middle. About four yards on the counter to the halfback. That'll make it second and seven. Completely stopped immediately. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Now he tries to buy some time. There's a very impressive open field tackle. From the 28 yard line. It's first down. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Scrambling. Diving for extra yardage. First and goal, and if they can execute, we'll be all tied up. Touchdown, Badgers. So they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. A 
lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. Number 13 brings him down at the 39-yard line. First down. Three down, three down. I got one, I got one. Here's a running play. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Check three, check three. And now he pitches it. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 50. Gain of five on the Two times, two times. First down. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. From the 50, second down. That makes it second and ten. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. First down, and he's knocked out. That's a team of 14 yards on the ball. First down. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. They try to get a head start there. Check three, check three, check three. False start. Off the ball. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. First and 15 now after the penalty. He's on the run, and he's sacked. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Tackle at the 21. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. So it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. So at the end of the third quarter, this game is all tied up at 17. We played three quarters even. Fourth quarter is going to tell the difference. It's up, and he splits the uprights. And so they take the lead with that field goal. Big time kick late in the game. That was a clutch kick to put them up on top. Maryland gets set to kick this one away. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. They're going to be very interesting to see how this quarterback makes decisions on this drive. It's a pivotal drive. They'd love a touchdown, but at the very least, he's got to manage this drive to at least get into field goal range. Oh, 
gains his way to the 36-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. He scrambled. And he dives forward. About nine yards there for the quarterback. From their own 41 yard line. Third down. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black Quick throw. And he shoved out of bounds right around midfield. to around the 42. That makes it second down. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Straight ahead on the give, and there's nowhere to run. yard line the quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz he hung in there delivered the pass and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks from the 25 yard line first down scrambling quarterback's gonna run it and he's got room to work ball is loose fumble that was a huge turnover yeah, and it couldn't have come at a better time for this defense you're trying to come up with a big stop and now you get the ball back with the lead things aren't tied but they might as well be it's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Less than three minutes in the game. There's a play fake. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. Number 21 on the tackle at the 30-yard line. First down. Down he goes, around the 28-yard line. That brings up second and 13. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. a yard maybe less great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle we've got third and 12 ball on the 28 short over the middle he's tackled at the 27 yard line and they'll lose a yard there pretty good stand there they weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call He 
He's at midfield. Breaks a tackle. Now only one man to beat. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. Wisconsin staff know that they've got a guy in a crucial situation that can maybe make the difference in the ball game, but you can't just rely on him alone. Yeah, you got a real difference maker lined up on the outside. The defense knows that. You know they're going to tilt their defense, the secondary especially, towards him. It's going to open up some opportunities for other wide receivers and maybe even running backs out of the backfield to be able to make plays. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. He showed you some of his natural athletic ability following the play and making a really quick stab to knock away the pass. From the 29-yard line, second down, just over a minute left. Slings it. He's taken down around the 21-yard line. Makes it out to about the 10. From the 10 yard line. First down. Up the middle for a nice game. Kill, kill, kill. Three, seven, two, three, nine. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it 33. He's going to try and scramble. Touchdown, and now they're in front. converts the extra point. Wisconsin to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 25. The Terrapins battled all game long, but it's not looking so good right now. Well, but remember, they're still within striking distance here. If they can put together a drive, they got a shot to win this game. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second and 10. Ball on their own 25. We have less than a minute to go. Scrambling around. And he's tackled at the 30. And he tucked that one in for about five yards. Maryland's going to use their first time out of the half here. Now he tries to buy some time. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. And he is drilled at the 37th. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they make the stop right around the 16-yard line. Makes the set at the 16-yard line. First down. He's under pressure, and they got it. So 
the Badgers coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.